This is a snake fly, I believe. It's not really doing much now, it's just kind of sitting there. Uh, this is called a fly, but it is not a Dipatera, not a true fly. It has more than two wings, it has two sets of wings. And common both in their larval stage and their adult stage, well, not rare, but I guess not common. And obviously also, they live close to water. We have a small, slow-moving creek here. So this is something that I don't see often, so when I do, I'm pretty interested in it. And something I don't know is what is the difference in the ecological niche of this as opposed to other winged insects, uh, holometabulous winged insects, because I don't know if it's that much different from a fly in how it lives. It's a little bit different in form. But it would be interesting to know the answer to that, but I don't know that. I just know it's kind of a rare find. It's also, I realize, not doing much. Its antenna are slightly waving in the wind. And even though this is interesting to me, and it's ecologically interesting uh, to find something a little bit different, I know that it's not really fascinating because it just sits there. And kind of there's the, you know, phrase, nature red in tooth and claw. In reality, a lot of times it's nature just sitting there, not doing much. Even though over here, where are you? Over here, look at, we have a spider. And so we have a predator and a prey about a foot away from each other. But there's not really gonna be some exciting battle or chase scene. They're just both doing their own things right now. It's an hour since I was here last. I've had the entire walk through the Crystal Lake Park. And here we have this snake fly, and he's still kind of just he or she. Sorry, I don't know the sex of snake flies. Although that might be relevant because he's moved a, a little bit. Moved from that last thing over there. He's moved about four feet in an hour. So still not very active. There's two reasons for that. Um, one could actually be because of the weather, because maybe it's normal for them to emerge at this time of year, and it's a lot warmer. And so, because it's cloudy, it's still in torpor and trying to gather heat. Um, looks like there also might be a damaged wing there. Uh, the other thing could be that, I don't know the life cycle, but there's a chance that these just emerge to mate, and the mating is over, and so now it's just fading out time. And I don't know, um, or maybe it's just a Saturday, and he's just taking it easy. So there is our snake fly. I hope you've learned something from that, and I wish I knew more scientifically about it, but there is some data.